must have been great. There's a salt that brings gladness when I'm of shadow and sadness. Heaven will be mine someday. Heaven will be mine someday. When the shadows are passed away. Singing within me, for long I carried a burden of sorrow and of dismay. Such the peace it was bringing, and through the night I kept singing, Heaven will be mine someday. I never knew heaven will be mine someday. Some way, 
many friends and dear loved ones will welcome me there near the door of that mansion someday someday when my labor and toiling have ended and my hands shall I fold it in rest. I'll exchange this old home for a mansion up there and invite the archangel as kids. There's a mansion now empty just waiting for me at the end of my some way many friends and dear loved ones will welcome me there near the door of that mansion someday someday there's a mansion now empty just waiting for me at the end of life's trouble some way Many friends and dear loved ones will welcome me there near the door of that mansion someday, someday. Well, folks, we're glad to be here, and I hope everybody's here with me out there tonight. We're looking forward to having a good time. Our special guest here tonight will be the Briscoes, a good, they are a great group out of the state of Georgia. We've had, got their songs in here. We've had their songs for some time, but we never have had them on as a guest on our program. They will be joining us about 8.30 tonight, the Briscoes from the state of Georgia. And we are here to have a great time on Alan Presley's promotions. Tomorrow night, our guest will be Crystal Elam. Is that right, Linda? Right. Crystal Elam. And she'll be here live on the program tomorrow night. You know, we usually have popcorn night on Friday night. But since we're having a guest singer tomorrow night that's going to be here live, we, going, we will not be having our regular popcorn tomorrow night because of that. And uh, we have a special guest. And she'll be singing a lot of live songs tomorrow night. She has all every time she's been here. So help us get the word out. You will see a poster coming up more later on in the, uh, the night sometime. And when you see the poster, share a poster. Let people know that we got a live singer coming tomorrow night. This is a fake broadcast sponsored by you, the listener. The way we operate here, we operate on your donations and your giving. We have people that is donating to our program, donating even to our children's ministry. And we are just thrilled to death that we are helping another ministry besides our own ministry. And it's great to always uh, help these kids out that is misfortune, that don't have a mom and dad that's been placed in a home. And we are helping support this home now. And folks, we got a lot of things going on. We got the CD offer. That's still going. And we offer five CDs, one CD, or two CDs, or whatever. Plus the Hearts has offered five, up to five CDs, plus uh, two rings and uh, two necklaces. Man, you can't beat that at Walmart. But anyway. That is. A CD and two necklaces and two rings for each donation. For each donation, Linda says. Man, that's for each donation. The Hearts is doing that. Well, we appreciate the Hearts for helping out and even helping support and try to raise stuff for the children. And like I said, this is a faith broadcast for whole ministry. Is a faith broadcast, and we are led by God, and we are shown by God, 
And we're doing exactly what his word tells us to do. Everything this program exists is exactly of what God's word teaches us to do. And then here's my mail address again. Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. I hope you people are hearing me tonight. We're going to have a good time. Man, like I said uh, you last night, I appreciate all the birthday wishes of God. Still got several today. And we like to say we appreciate that. Thank you. God bless you. We had so many. I just made an ad and put it on Facebook. I was afraid that I'd skip somebody. And I probably did. We had so many. The chat box was messages coming in on the chat box all day long. And it was all over my page. We thank you. We appreciate that. Now we're going to get on with the program and expect to hear from the Bristol's tonight about 8.30. Here are the singing cooks. Take a listen.
this Sunday night. And we do not want to forget that. Elton Wright will be a guest on our program Sunday night. He sent me this song. At one time, he used to sing with what they call the Joy Masters. And that was a group in the past. But I want to tell you why I want to share this with you. The Joy Masters wrote, uh, sang this song, and Roger Horn, I heard from Roger Horn today. We're going to have Roger Horn back on this program again soon and very soon. We just decided between now and the rest of the day what is the best date for him. He's going to contact me. And, and uh, Roger Horn wrote this song. Jerry Goff recorded it, which others have recorded it. The Joy Masters did with Elton, Wright, uh, with Elton Wright's help and Roger Horn. And Roger Horn wrote a lot of great songs. I don't know if anybody out there has ever wrote the songs that Roger Horn has wrote. Jerry Goff recorded this too. The Stagemans recorded it and made a lot of songs by Roger Horn. And I want you to listen to his song. Listen to the name of this song. His name lives on, and it does live on, and no one can stop it.
going to put the Briscoes on. Hello, you on Alan Presley Promotions? Hey there. Hey, how you doing? I am doing wonderful. Hey, how uh, are you? who we got out there? This is Suzanne Bristow with the Briscoes. Hey, glad to have you on, Susan. I was waiting on you to tell them your name. I didn't know which okay. one. I didn't really know which one would be calling in, and uh, we're glad to have you on the program tonight. And well, thank you so much. It's an honor for me, too. Boy, if I don't do a good job, boy, at the end, if I don't do a good job, at the end, we'll tell them that it's the net or Dan, okay? And uh, we, uh, <laughs> how long you guys been singing? Well, as far as the wish goes, the name and me, because I am the only actual Bristow in the group. Uh, we've been singing for about 20 years. The group started with me and my late husband, Al. And we started singing. And then about five or so years into that, Scott and Annette Sowens from Commerce, Georgia, joined us. And we sang like that for a while. And then Al passed away unexpectedly. So about... Almost five years ago, it's the group that you see now, which is myself and Scott and Annette Solins and Jan and Paul Porter, which Jan is my sister. And do you all travel all over the country? Well, so far it's just been Georgia and the southeast. We'd be happy to go anywhere, though, anywhere the Lord opens the door. You ever get up into the volunteer state, Tennessee, up in there, or, or, this area up through here? We have been up there a couple times. Well, that's great. And uh, uh, what, do, what do you think your top song you're singing right now? Oh, my goodness. All of them? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure which one. Probably, I call it, no, what is The one that Annette wrote uh, about home. About home, well, hey, hey, we got that song. Yes, that's cool. And we're gonna put it up there to play it in a little bit. Well, and that sounds good. We, you got some. We seat. appreciate everything you do. Yeah. Okay. Give me another song that you find a pretty well top song. Well, I've heard tell that some people like to hear us sing Jerusalem. Uh, we don't have that one. We don't have that one. You don't have that. Okay. You need to talk to Mr. Bryant about that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, oh, goodness, I don't know. You're going to have to tell me. You're the expert on that. Okay. I think all the songs we ha have is on the album Almost Home. Okay. Well, I, bet I call it home. Uh, um, no, we don't have that, that one on there. No. Well, we we we're gonna get some of you anyway. We had several of them on that, and uh, you how many CDs you all got out, Sister Susan? We have let's see, one, two. as a group of it right now. We have three. We have three CDs out. Um, well, how does people order them? They can give. Well, they can go to our Facebook page, Alan Presley Promotions. That's normally the best way to get in touch with us. Um, send us a message on that. It's the Bristows. Um, of course, you can go to each individual of us has a Facebook page also. So you can get in touch with us there. And then we have a website, which is www.thebristowsministry.com. Okay. Now, I, and, and if they can find that or remember that, all they got to do is contact me, and I know how to find you now. And oh, well, I, that sounds good, too. <laughs> yeah. We got the song, I'll Be At Home. That's it. Oh, okay. Okay, we, we're going to play that out to all, too. And Sister okay. Sister Susan, uh, we didn't tell them one important thing. How much those CDs cost you? You can get one CD for $10, or we'll send you all three of them for well, that's a good deal. That's yeah, great. Yeah, we'll take care of the shipping. Don't worry about that. Yeah, that's a good deal. And, and you know what? 
you could like have your own concert sitting in your house or going down the road in your car. <laughs> you can. You can. Um, and hopefully soon, maybe within the next few months, we plan on having a new one out. So hey, uh, keep, keep a watch on our Facebook page for that. Okay. And Sister Susan, uh, when all the singing you've done, I know y'all have done a lot of it over the years. You may not can answer this question. In fact, you can't. That's fine. You may have had a lot of great experiences, which I know that you have. But are there any one time wherever you guys have been singing that you have seen something happen at a singing or a place where you've been that always would stick in your mind above all the others? Oh, my goodness. There's lots of them out there. Now, I know I asked this to Ray Reese of the Kingsman, and I've been already thinking about what he might say, and I hit it on the nail head. <laughs> he was at, he, he, back years ago. See, he'd been with the Kingsman a long time. Back oh, years yeah. ago, he was a big singing down in Chattanooga, and, he, and revival really broke out. I mean, they just had something out of the world, you know. And I thought he might say that, but I wasn't sure. And that night, when I had him on the program here, he brought that out. And that's the reason I asked the question. I asked it a lot of times. Some of them can't answer. They can't remember the most exciting time because they had a lot of exciting times. But are they, you know, like what I'm saying, are there any one special time that you remember? That I remember. Yeah. Um, you know, I, there's been so many, and I know that any time somebody will walk down the aisle and give their life to the Lord, that's the most important thing to us. Um, we do like to have a happy church meeting, too. I mean, we like to get happy and everybody get happy. <laughs> well. Uh, that's the kind we like. Um, now... At the time, I didn't know it was going to be so special. Um, but my husband passed away on a Monday morning. And that Saturday, we sang at a church in Gainesville, Georgia. Um, he wasn't sick. He was fine. And looking back on it, that was a very special singing to me. Um, he sang songs that he normally didn't sing at singing, but he pulled them out that night. And I remember us singing um, just all of his songs that he sang. He didn't sing that much with us. He played guitar. But he wanted to sing that night, and I, I remember that singing very well. And it turned out to just be a special singing to my heart because that was the last time he sang with us. Well, that, that's, a good, that's a good testimony, Sister Susan. And uh, I... Yeah, uh, if you, somebody wants you to come and sing, I know you're talking about CDs. Is the same answer for the CDs as somebody want to uh, get you all to come and sing for them? Yes, sir. You can do that. Or let, can I give you all my number? Yeah. And you can always get us. Yeah. You can call us at 678-231-9270. And, so and you can reach us. Give us a call, give us a text. Right. And we would be more than happy to come sing. Amen. Sister Susan, uh, uh, have you wrote any songs? No, sir, not me. Um, I'm not the writer in the group. Annette Sullen, um, she is the writer, and Paul Porter, um, he's my brother-in-law. They are the writers in the group. The Lord has blessed them tremendously. On the CD that you have, um, Annette wrote, I'll be at home. And she wrote the prayer. I believe that one's on there. Okay. And, and then Paul wrote, Heaven Sent and the Rope. I believe those two are on there. Well, that's, that's great. And so she's, oh, yeah, a, I, she's a songwriter. Sometimes you need to tell her to give me a call, too. I will do that. 
I would do that. I'm sure she'd watch it now, so, Annette, remember that. Okay. Hey, Paul, too. Paul's going to call you, too. Um, we're open one time. We can get the whole group up there and live and in person. That's, that'd be fine. And that'd be great. That'd even be a great honor. And Sister Susan... Uh, what town do y'all live in? Why, why are you based out of? We are based out of Smyrna, Georgia, which is about 20 miles north of Atlanta. Well, I, yeah, I, well, I know about where that's at, where you at. Really, you're not all that far from us. No, we're not far um, at all. That's right. And you're right above Chattanooga, right? Yeah, we live 60, exactly 60 miles from the Georgia line on I-75 North. Well, yeah, that's not far at all. It's a couple hours up there. That's yeah. about it. Yeah, that's about it. And any anytime you guys want to come up and be live on the program, we can handle that, Sister Susan. Well, we would definitely work on that because that just seems like it would be fun and we would enjoy it. Well, it'd be great. And we got, we got a soloist coming tomorrow night live with us. And we've had some groups. We've had several groups come here live, and we 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 put them on the air, and we we have a great time when we all get together. Well, that sounds wonderful. Just praising the Lord, and I will tell you, we enjoy what we do. We enjoy serving Jesus, and we like to be happy, and we like to have fun. <laughs> what we do too, Sister Susan, and and the matter of fact, if you get to come up here and be live on the program, come up a little early where we can have a big time before and a lot of fellowship before we go on the air. Well, now that sounds like a plan. Yeah, okay. That sounds good to me. That's great. And Sister Susan, we always ask everybody, would you have a prayer with us? And we got, see, we had a miracle come happen on this program. We searched for three, four months, probably four months, Searching and working hard to find this man, Jimmy Putman, a kidney. I mean, we worked day and night, me and another lady did, day and night making posters, and somebody finally saw a poster. And But we had several to come forth. We had several people come forth and offered their kidney, and they took steps to get there. But they're so strict on this, you had to have a perfect match and be in good health. And several applied for it, but they couldn't make it to the top step. One lady did, a young lady, very young, made it. She gave the kidney be about, it was three weeks ago this past Tuesday night. And the guy, the man, Jimmy Putman, is home now, and he's feeling real good today. I talked to him, and he's got that kidney transplant. He said it's been a coon ages since he ever got to eat a Whopper hamburger and him and his wife split one. And they told him he could eat about anything he wanted. Well, praise the Lord. And the kidney he got is working great. And he they God told is good. they told him they told they told him, Sister Susan, that he that he that kidney will last longer than he'll last. <laughs> and and, and hey. see, God is faithful if we seek the face of God and we trust in him and believe in him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then we've he had, an awesome God. Then we had some that's had surgery, lung cancer surgery like Tom Moore, and we have get many requests in here every day, so man, we can't even name all of them. But God knows who they are. And, but the most important thing we here for is to lead people to Jesus Christ and help Amen. people get there. And Sister Susan, we want you to lead us in prayer. Would you do that? I sure will. I'd be honored to. I appreciate that. Okay, go. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come to you tonight, Jesus, just to say thank you. Thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for all that you are to us, Lord. We know that this world that we live in is just heading downhill, but Lord, I know that you know everything that's going on, and you have still got your hand on us, Lord. And Jesus, if there's any 
anybody listening tonight that needs you, that needs a touch from you, Lord. Just let them feel you right now, Lord. Just let, just reach down and touch them, Lord. If they need peace, just give them your peace, Heavenly Father. Jesus, just thank you for all these miracles, these wonderful blessings that you have provided for us. The kidney, Lord, you are an awesome God, and we just praise your holy name for that. Jesus, just thank you so much for people like Brother Allen, who's willing to get on Facebook and have this radio station to share your word, Lord. Just thank you for all he does for the sinners and all he does for you, Jesus. And Jesus, just thank you so much again for allowing the Bristos to serve you. We consider it an honor and a privilege to be able to get up and sing your praises. And Jesus, just thank you again for the beautiful day that you've given us all. Just be with us. Be with, continue to be with Brother Allen and Brother Chuck as they have this radio ministry, Lord. And just be with all of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sister Susan, it's been an honor having you on here, and we're going to get out of here, and we're going to listen to you guys sing some. Oh, well, that sounds awesome. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And it won't be the last time either, okay? It won't. You give us a call any time, and we'll see you soon. Okay. I hope you remember that now. You'll see me soon, so we let, just let us know when you can do it. I'll do it. I will remember. Okay. Take care. Thank you, Susan. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. And you have been listening to Susan Briscoe of the Briscoes. And we're going to have some of their songs right now. And I want you to take a listen to the next song right now on Alan Prince Promotions. And please share our program Facebook. Let's get on with the Briscoes.
that's fresh to uh, equipment. Oh, you don't have to mind somebody. Uh, you don't have to. Huh? Who is that? see the next song coming up here but you've been listening to the Briscoes as they were our special guest on Alan Presley's promotions tonight and Lady Presley what's the name of that song coming up it's about the train isn't it Glory Trains are coming the Glory Train is coming hey that person that requests that uh, you know who you are out there tonight are you on the Glory Train I sure am and man, the glory train is coming. How many of you people out there are going to get on the glory train? That train comes by, blowing its whistle. But well, you better be ready to get on it fast because it is super not speed. I mean, it is faster than any train that you've ever seen in the world. I mean, it's faster than a speeding bullet. It's faster than any locomotive that ever was grabbed. Jesus said when he comes again, he'll come in a twinkling of an eye. How fast can he twinkle your eye? He's coming fast. And Michael Combs is going to sing this song, The Glory Train is Coming. Take a listen. Let me 
sing the song. The story train's coming, I can hear the Lord of Hummin' till the train goes on the glory land. He's coming. Lawson says she's on that glory train. Are you on the glory train? I sure am. And we're riding that train to heaven. We send that out to Elizabeth Lawson tonight. She wanted to hear that song. Man, she got a memory like a full static mind. She remembers these songs. And, and buddy, we, we thank God that she does. And I, I got a devil deal going on with you while I got you on there now. You see these five CDs? Look at all these five CDs. This is by Lizzie G. out of Chicago. She sent me 45 CDs uh, for a donation to the uh, children. And guess what? The uh, Gospel Hearts is throwing in a CD too, up to five CDs, I believe. These. No, he said everyone, didn't he, Linda? Uh, when you uh, give five, she's going to give one CD, two necklaces, and two rings. When I give five of these? When you, yeah, when you give five of those. Uh, when somebody gives a donation, for, no, for if somebody gives a donation for two, then she's going to uh, give uh, a CD, two necklaces, and two rings. Two rings and two necklaces instead of CD? Yeah. Man, how can anybody turn that down? Man, the phones even ought to be ringing and people placing their orders. When they get five of them, so at five, hey, when you get five of these, that five CDs, that's a large donation, right? Yeah, well, if somebody gets a donation for all five of these, then Lorraine will give one. But if they just... Uh, give a donation for two, she's still going to give one to them. But you can still get a CD plus her CD for right. one, right? Right. For one CD. But the one CD is a donation of $14. Two CDs, a donation of $25. And then, then like, we get all five of them for a bigger donation. You give a bigger donation. Uh, but the $25 and it's bigger... You're going to get all five of these CDs, plus a CD from the Gospel Hearts makes six CDs, plus two rings and two necklaces. Now you tell me, you can beat that at Walmart's. If you beat that at Walmart's, bring my old Alan Presley the receipt. I want to see it. And man, I tell you what, everybody ought to jump to that. And plus, your donation... It's going to help the children and the children's home. And, man, I tell you what, it's so exciting on Alan Presley Promotions. And we're going to get on and we're going to play some great Southern gospel music. I don't know who's up here to coming up next, but I'll tell you right now to me, it's the Blackwood Brothers, someone to care. You know, we've had Billy Blackwood on this program before. We might get him again. Thank you. 
Facebook out there tonight, please share our program and get as many people as you can on the program. We have the guy, the miracle guy, the miracle guy that for God has performed a miracle on. And we praise God for that miracle, Jimmy Putman. <laughs> My love for you is 
still the same for him and very mean but very soon I will be free sent me a song this afternoon and I've got it in here and he emailed it to me and well, I got this album I got five albums of Jerry Goff. Jerry Goff's funeral will be Saturday down in uh, Smyrna, Georgia. I think it's around Marietta, Georgia right in that area a little bit north maybe. But anyway, and his funeral's going to be Saturday and his burial I think will be about Tuesday in Nashville, Tennessee. Jerry was a well good singer. He was a com good comedian. He was a good MC. Jerry was good at anything he done, and we counted a great honor to have. I had Jerry and the Singing Goss sang for me, and I had large crowds each time. The first crowd was an overflowing crowd. We should not had a church. We should had a coliseum. And folks, that's actually the truth. We couldn't even get all the crowd to the church. They listened to it on the AM radio in their cars. But anyway, what a good time we had when he blowed that bugle. And we got Elton Wright sent me a song that Jerry Goff recorded. And I got it on the back of the album. Elton Wright, I'm uh, not Elton Wright, but Elton Wright sent it to me. Roger Horn, the great songwriter that he is, wrote this song, and Jerry Goff even recorded it. The Joy Masters recorded it, and I got the Joy Masters song right here singing it. And and we are playing this in memory, too, of Dr. Jerry Goff. Here we go.
And Roger Horn wrote that song. And we are getting ready to hear a song from Roger Horn coming up next. But let me tell you this, folks. I talked with Roger Horn some today. He hollered at me, and I talked to him a little bit. He said, since I didn't get you no birthday gift, which I didn't expect him to give me no birthday gift. But anyway, that's what he said to me. He said, since I didn't get you no birthday gift, I'm, I, I, I will come back on your program again, maybe in August or something, and maybe before that, you know. But anyway, he told me that he would do that for me for a birthday gift, and I counted it as a great present, man, even though I didn't expect him to give me no present, but that's what he told me. And he said, and, and I'm going to tell you this right now, folks, Roger Horn and Becky Horn, his wife, is on their way back to Allen Presley Promotions. And we count that a great honor. Now I want you to listen to this song. Roger himself is going to sing this song, Roger Horn. And he's been with the cathedrals and a lot of quartets, but I think him and his wife sings together a lot now. Not a lot. They do 30 or 40 or 50 appointments a year, I believe he told me. But he's going to sing this song that he wrote. All the songs that he sings, he don't have to sing nobody else's song. Not least he just wants to. He wrote enough songs for everybody, just about it. The Statesman Quartet, the Cathedrals, and a lot of groups has recorded his song. The Joy Masters recorded that. Jerry Goff has recorded them. Here he is, Roger Horn. Take a listen. <laughs> Somebody, what the Lord has done for you. Go tell somebody about the storms that have brought you through. Don't try to keep up a secret, just tell about everything. Go tell somebody you're a child of the heavenly King. A story that you need to be telling, a story that's your very own. You can talk about all the things that he's done. Tell him just how you have grown. You just can't sit on the sidelines and never tell him about anything. So get up and go tell somebody until somebody can. Tell somebody what the Lord has done for you. Go tell somebody about the storms that has brought you through. Don't try to keep it a secret, just tell about everything. Go tell somebody you're a child of the heavenly King. Their story of salvation is something you don't talk about. Just keep it to yourself, maybe no one will know. But it's time to let the good news out. You've been adopted into God's family. You hold the keys to a mansion on high. It's time to go tell somebody. You'll soon be telling this world goodbye. Tell somebody what the Lord has done for you. Go tell somebody about the things that has brought you through. Don't try to keep it a secret, just tell about everything. Go tell somebody you're a child of the heavenly King. Tell somebody, oh, tell somebody, oh, tell somebody, you're a child, yes you are, of the heavenly king. Get up and go tell somebody that you're a child of the heavenly king. And that's exactly.
exactly what we're supposed to do, folks. Get up! Go tell somebody you're a child of the king. Here's Terry Bailey on board. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows a new CD out. Maybe sometime we get him on the program here and he'd tell you about that new CD. We got coming up is Crystal Elam and she is from the Chattanooga area and she is scheduled to be here live on Alan Presley's promotions. You ought to hear this young lady say, man, tomorrow night. tomorrow night, coming tomorrow night and tomorrow night we will cancel out the popcorn tomorrow night because we got live singing in here tomorrow night. And, folks, you need to be tuned in tomorrow night. Help us scatter the word. We done got a poster out, but we'll be sharing it more after the program sometime tonight. Here she is, Crystal Elam. Take a listen.
the trees are right now, and I just steer feet, oh, just humbly bow. Confess to him your ever a sin, oh, he'll save your calendar, give you peace and joy. Song from the church hymn book long years ago, and folks, that, <coughs> that was a great song. We got coming up. How many of you out there has heard of Danny Funderburg? You say, Who's that? Man, I'll tell you one thing if you don't know Danny Funderburg, you don't know much about your southern gospel music. Danny Funderburg has been around a while. He has sung with the Cathedral Quartet and probably a lot of other great groups. But Danny Funderburg is, is a great singer. I think he sung tenor when he's with the Cathedrals. Now, a lot of you use Southern Gospel music knows anything about Southern Gospel music, they know Danny Funderburg. We have been talking some with Danny Funderburg, and he, he got a hold of me today apologizing, but he can't help it. <laughs> hey, he, he, he said that he was on his way to Wyoming, going out to Wyoming, and he had a couple of trips like that he had to do for the last few weeks. Now he's scheduled out in Wyoming or somewhere. He's going to get back to me again Monday and talk to me, and we're working on Danny Funderburg of bringing him in on Alan Presley Promotions. Man, everybody out there that knows anything at all about Southern Gospel music. You say, I don't know Danny Funderburg. You don't know a lot about Southern Gospel music, Ken, if you don't know Danny Funderburg. We got Danny Funderburg's songs in here, he said to me. And he's going to be singing one of these, this old song. This is an old song, The Plan of Salvation. Come on, Danny, let's sing. Morning, I'm 
Second generation and Brenda Dittany now is a soloist. And folks, if you ever have opportunity to get Brenda, give her a call or contact me and I can get you in touch with him. And, and folks, <coughs> excuse me, you know what? This program's all about leading people to Jesus Christ. If you're not a Christian out there tonight and you're listening to Alan Presley Promotions, this is what it's all about. I hope and pray that you give your life to God. You have an open invitation to do that. And you need to give your life to God now and start living for God and help us to win the loss to Jesus. God is going to wind this thing up one day, and I hope you're ready. This is Exodus going to sing this great song. <laughs> Told you you have carried on Staying with my heart In the battle Holding on to God all your mind You never surrender Never no way The Lord has held more to you Yeah Yeah
ever thought about what happened at the cross? Have you ever really thought, sit down and think what happened at the cross? If it does, if you did, it ought to change your life over to live for God. You're going to hear about it right now. Alan Presley Promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network, Boxcast TV, and we're here on Facebook too, and uh, all our programs go over on YouTube. And this is a faith broadcast, and folks, help us out, help us keep this great gospel music program going, and help us keep it out on the air. And if you like being a part of a program like this that believes in standing for Jesus, and we stand straight as we know how, we do not compromise with sin or nothing like that. We stand on what the Word of God teaches. You can send your donations to Alan Presley, 611 Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. And folks, we are in the ministry of Heavenly's children too. That's what you do it and involved in. When you uh, get on board with Alan Presley Promotions, here's our mail and address again. Alan Presley, 611 Ohio 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. We're looking forward to great things happening. And tomorrow night, Crystal Lamb of the, down in Chattanooga area will be live on Alan Presley's Promotions tomorrow night. And Sunday night, Elton Wright. The man that knows a lot about gospel music and brother, he can sing. He will be our guest on Sunday night's program. We got people lined up, and we we'll, and Roger Horn is soon going to be back on program, and we're working on Danny Thunderbird, and man, we got some great things in the near future coming up. Joey Ayers coming up to sing next, and. Uh, 
Ernie Peters is up in Crossville, Tennessee this whole week to one of the biggest count meetings in East Tennessee, a man at the Crossville First Free Will Baptist Church. Me and Lady Presley has an interest in that church. It's a huge, beautiful, big church up there. But you know what? Me and Lady Presley moved to Crossville, Tennessee years ago, and we sacrificed, I mean big time, and when somebody had to pay the price to be there. But you go by the Crossville Church now, and it's a mosque church, big church, packed out. I mean, it's a large church. It's packed out last night, and they had over 4,000 people watching it even on the Internet last night. And, man, little Jacob Burry preached last night, a boy in a wheelchair, and then he's, a, you talk about him, he preaches too. I mean, he's good. And he has to have an interpreter. But anyway, he's a great preacher, preaches a lot of places and everywhere. It was packed out up there last night. Ain't no telling how many hundred people was there last night. And it's not no little church like most of our churches is around here. It's a huge, monstrous church. Me and Lady Presley moved, and I gave up a big, nice church to go there because God felt like it's what God wanted. We sacrificed. We like to froze to death at that year. We like to starve to death. We didn't have a lot of food. My dad helped us. And 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 if it wasn't for the uh, city of Crossville, my kids wouldn't have had no toys. But I don't regret a mom that I've ever traveled for the Lord because you go by there now and you can see what is setting up there now on that hill in Crossville, Tennessee. And here's the joy hours. That's where they're at all week long. Brother Ernie Peters and all of them. <laughs>
you're not ready to meet God, tonight's tonight. You need to get ready. You need to do it now, folks, and we'd be glad to counsel with you and talk with you. If you need our talking, you can give us a call. And listen to the Kingsmen as they come forth at this time. Listen, there's way it seems for you. And I will try. That the pain is a joy when you gain in full control. Amen. But if time has removed the peace you knew then, he's calling you back to the place you. break right now and we want to inform everyone that we are on Alan Presley's page tonight we had some problem with the sound on uh, Alan Presley promotions and we notice when we get on his page Alan Presley that we have people that don't uh, for some reason don't get on Alan Presley promotions so what you need to do is go to Alan Presley promotions like his page, and when you do, you can get on his page when we do the program over there. We just couldn't do it over there tonight because the, the sound is messed up on that uh, page, so we have to go to the tablet, and it works fine on the tablet. We just we don't know what the problem is, but eventually we'll get it fixed. We may have to depend on Chuck to come back up here and fix it for us. So, we got time probably to do one or two more songs. What are you going to tell them? And uh, I'll say goodnight right now.
I see might make a DJ yet. Why you know, friend? Are we going to say good night? God bless you. We hear seven nights a week, and you may say it's on different forms. We get our problem always straightened out, but we're working on it, and we're getting there. Hey, you wouldn't believe all the connections and hookups is right here in this little studio. You just wouldn't believe. Some of you people out there, if you're in the area, come by and take a look. And you can see what all God's been doing here. So we're going to get on and play the feast the program out. And we'll be talking to you again on tomorrow night. I think we got the pains coming up.
sou teu 